What is up, YouTube? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new to the channel, I'm Joe Wilson. I make videos related to traveling, whether it's swimming, biking, running. You can find all those cool things right here on this channel. And guys, today I want to talk to you guys about my race at St. Anthony's. Uh, but before I do that, um, I want to apologize. Uh, I have made a lot of videos recently of some shorts. Um, life. Life has gotten in the way. Uh, some stress going on. I'm actually flying out to Ohio tonight to for work, uh, whereas I've been working from home for the last couple of weeks. Um, at the same time, um, my personal life is kind of outside of triathlon. It's kind of stressful right now. So um, unfortunately, you know, this took a back burner. Um, but I want to tell you guys about my race to St. Anthony's real quick. So thanks for tuning in. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll do all those cool things to do on YouTube. Um, but let me tell you about my race to St. Anthony's. Well, so. For those that don't know, St. Anthony's is a big race. It used to be one of the biggest races in the country. It, it was 4,000 people signed up within an hour. All the top pros have always done it. It's still got a great purse prize. Ben Canute, um, Jackson Laundry, uh, Eric Longstrom. I mean, a bunch of, Paula Finley was there. She won the race. Um, bunch of big people uh, come out and do this race as far as pros. And then they're actually, actually also have an elite uh, race. And that's kind of what I jumped into. So I'm not racing uh, age group, but with the elite field, you got to get the feeling of as of racing as a pro because they put start us in a wave just like they do the pro field, whereas age groupers are just um, lining up one by one or two by two. Anyway, so my race went exactly like I thought it would be, but I thought I would go a little bit faster. Um, swim was 27 minutes. Started to swim, jumped on someone's feet. Thought they were doing really well, but turns out I was faster than they were. So I lost some time there. Had some uh, hiccups with the uh, goggles, uh, filled up twice. And so when I came out of the swim, I looked up, I was 27 minutes. I'm like, whatever, I'll just mow down all the people. Jumped on my bike, had a great transition, jumped on the bike, started hammering, started hammering. And then I just, I never felt comfortable you know, I almost actually went over to handlebars a couple times. You know, they have some going around the golf courses. They actually have some uh, speed bumps, but whatever. I did a 101, kind of felt like my tire was going flat the whole time. And so actually when I went in transition, it was like mostly flat. So I think I had a slow leak there. But was that 30 seconds, 40 seconds? I mean, I, sh I was shooting for 59 when a 101, whatever. Um, so came out, came off the bike, and you know, like I said, I hammered as hard as I could, trying to tear my legs off, but didn't hit where I wanted to. Came out of transition, I'm like, let's just run. Let's just run as hard as you can. So come out, start running. First mile was like a 550 mile. I'm like, this feels good. This feels really, really good. Got passed by a guy who did like a 34 minute 10K, but I was able to hold on to him for quite a while, and then you know, first mile, 550, six flat, six flat. And then I make a turnaround and I, see, I get to the turnaround area and I see a guy coming back the other way. And I'm like, I should be faster than this guy. And so as soon as I saw him, I said, you know what? Let's go. Let's see how much hard, let's see how hard you can really, really push. And so I hit that threshold and I just pushed right through it. And I want to say the last three miles, my heart rate went from like a 175 to got up to about 186. And I just hammered for two miles trying to catch this guy. And I finally caught him going over the bridge for the last mile um, and actually put a minute on him. But he's still a great racer. But, you know, he's, they were... Regardless, um, I was able to run a 36 minute 10K, which for me, I was disappointed on the swim, disappointed on the bike, but what saved the day was the uh, 10K, you know, cause I didn't know where I really was as far as fitness level going into St. Anthony's, but cause of COVID that set me back a little bit, but I kind of feel much, much better now um, as, far, as far as the run. So that was right under like right around 208. I should have been faster. I was 206 there, like 90 seconds faster three years ago. And I know I'm a stronger uh, uh, racer. I just, I think the bike was slower for everybody. I mean, I'm comparing bikes in 2019 to bikes in 2022. And like even being canoe was like two minutes slower. So, um, so a little disappointed, but overall happy because of the time on the, on the, on the run. So that saved me. So, 
Got 10th overall in the uh, elite amateur uh, elite amateur um, division. 10th out of 20, so right in around the middle of the pack. I mean, I out, I'm out, I'm ordering these guys by almost 20 years, so I feel good um, overall. So next is Chattanooga, and Chattanooga is seven days from now. Um, so I'm super excited. Probably won't be able to put out like the week of video like that I normally do. I'm talking about my race or my race prep because I'm going to be flying up to Ohio tonight to work. We're doing some work stuff. So and this is the first time I've traveled in two years and nothing fits anymore. Everything is like, hmm, that's too big for me. So between the body comp and work from home the last two plus years, yeah, we're going to have to wing it. <laughs> so anyway, and then I fly back on Friday and... As soon as I land, I have to drive up to Chattanooga to sign in. So hopefully we'll have some videos then. But until then, this is it. So that's my race recap for St. Anthony's. Thanks, you guys, for uh, following. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those cool things on YouTube. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.